Podcast, and welcome to Season 14, Episode 5 of Eagle News. Today is Wednesday, September 15th, 2020, and Happy National Play-Doh Day! My name is Maddie. And my name is Eleni. Headlines. Teachers, don't forget that Hyatt's Road is closed. Make sure that you get that you take the right roads to get to work. Parents, curriculum night is tonight. Check out your child's Schoology class for the times that their meetings online will be. Teachers will be available at different times to answer any questions that you may have for them. We are looking for 100% participation walking around the Big Red Post in the lobby at Hyatt's. Don't forget to stay on the correct side of the Big Red Post. Lunch news. Make sure that you're using the social distancing in line in the kitchen at lunch. Manners are always appreciated when ordering food or asking the lunch staff for help. 7th grade students, make sure that you get your immunization records turned in to the nurse. If you haven't done so already, there, these are required for the 7th grade students. Let's head to Addy and the Eagle News Doppler 5000 weather station for today's weather. Thanks, Eleni. Today's weather report is perfect. 80 degrees with sunny skies today. Soak up those last couple days of summer. Fall's approaching soon. The low will be a very comfy 54 degrees. Great sleeping weather. Let's head back to the studio for lunch. Thanks for that great weather report, Addy. Maddie, what are you doing for lunch today? I have a sandwich and strawberries. What about you? I have a sandwich and carrots. Well, let's check out the lunch report with Miss Carl in the kitchen. Play the video. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today's menu is mac and cheese, spicy chicken sandwich, Big Daddy's pizza, and I have an announcement to make. So the deli is not going to be your pickup point for sandwiches anymore. The sandwiches are now gonna be in the drink coolers within the kitchen. So there's some over there. There's gonna be some right there. And there's some down at the other drink coolers. And they're all marked. So thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Ms. Carr, for that wonderful lunch report. An additional note about lunch. Students, don't forget to check out the deli. There are three new sandwiches over there in the kitchen. New information today. The sandwiches are now in the coolers with the salads. Check out that option. It's now time for everyone's favorite time of the news, trivia. Let's head to the Eagle News Family Feud Trivia Studio for today's trivia. Thank you, Eleni, and welcome to Trivia Night here at Eagle News. Remember that you need to text Mr. Meta the answer to earn your points for today's show. Before we get to today's question, here is the current leaderboard. Mr. Bob is in first place with 101 points. Mrs. Meyer is in second place with 91 points. Mrs. Hollibaugh, Mrs. Sloan, and Miss Mattingly are in third place with 76 points. In fourth place is Mrs. Rissmeyer and Mrs. Slusser with 71 points, and in fifth place are Mr. Nicolosi and Mr. Benish with 65 points. Here's the question. Name an activity at which you failed the first time you tried. Again, name an activity at which you failed the first time you tried. Send Mr. Meta your answer to earn your points. Let's head back to the newsroom for today's sports report. On Monday night, the Steelers handled the Giants 26-16 as Big Ben returned to the action after elbow surgery and having a year off. In the late game, Tennessee defeated the Broncos 16-14 on a last-minute field goal. In highest volleyball, the 7th grade and 8th grade teams defeated Heritage Middle School on Monday night. The 7th grade team won 25-18 and 25-15. All the 8th grade teams won 25-18 and 25-23. The teams battled Dublin Cell tonight. Also, 8th grade Volleyball has home game tonight at 5 p.m. as they battle their cross-district rivals, Orange Middle School. Good luck, Eagles! Now for our video segment today. We love to cook here at Eagle News, and today, Levi with Eagle News shows us how to make a sh some shrimp fried rice. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Take it away, Levi! Hey, Eagles! What's going on? My name is Levi. I am very proud to announce that I will be your host for the first episode of How To in Eagle News Season 14. Now today I will be teaching you guys how to cook traditional Chinese fried rice. And some of you right now are probably saying, Ah, oh, Levi, I don't know what fried rice is. Well, that's okay because here's a quick montage of the delicious food we'll be cooking today. Warning! The following montage may contain pictures of extreme tastiness that may result to drooling. All right.
right, let's get started. First and foremost, the ingredients. You're going to need cooked rice, four raw eggs, sausage bits, spiced shrimp, a bag of peas, and carrots cut into little pieces. You guys ready? I know I am. Step one, pour oil into the pan. Then mix your four raw eggs with the tools you're most comfortable with until it stabilizes. Step two, put the egg inside the pan. Stir the egg until it forms a solid state, then take it out and put it in a bowl. Step three, put the following three items in the pan and mix. Sausage bits, carrot bits, and finally peas. These have to be done in this order. Step four, squirt in stir fry sauce, sprinkle in a reasonable amount of salt, and then put in flavor powder. These also have to be done in this order. Step five, put the eggs inside the pan. Cut it and mix it evenly with the sausages, peas, and carrots. All right, we're getting there. Step six, put the rice in with the rest of the ingredients. Mix until you see that they are perfectly balanced. And last but not least, put in the spiced shrimp, which have to be spiced so it can taste fresh. Mix until the shrimp is no longer raw. And we are done. Check out the finished product. Well, that's it. I think the recipe is quite simple and many of you are going to be able to make this at home. Since the pandemic is going on and it is very unsafe to eat outside, it is now more important than ever to be able to cook a delicious thing or two. I hope you enjoyed my video, and once again, I am your host, Levi. Thank you, Levi. Now let's head to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's head back. Now let's head to, back to the This Day in History studio with Addie for today's This Day in History segment. Thanks, Eleni. On September 16, 1893, the largest land run in history begins with more than 100,000 people pouring into the Cherokee Strip of Oklahoma to claim valuable land that had once belonged to the Native Americans. With a single shot from a pistol, the mad dash began, and land-hungry pioneers on horseback and in carriages raced forward to stake their claims to the best acres. We want to share with our audience our quote of the day. The worst decision you can make is no decision. Take control of your own life. My name is Maddie, and my name is Eleni. My name is Addie. <laughs> we have the news for the next two days. Enjoy their broadcast and we will see you soon. Have a great day, Eagles. Bye. Seriously, say that ending again. <laughs> and do it better with a little bit more oomph. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Maddie. My name is Eleni. And my name is Addie. We a little bit more oomph, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Three, two, go. My name is Maddie. My name is Eleni. And my name is Addie. We have the news for the next two days. Enjoy the broadcast, and we will see you soon. Have a great day, Eagles. Bye! Oh, yeah! <laughs>